Hi and welcome back to Batty.com. Today we're going to show you how to install LEDs in this 84 through 89 Corvette instrument panel. The main illumination bulbs are located here and here and here and here. We'll notice that I am working with a properly grounded wrist strap. We're also working on a static controlled surface here in the shop. The reason for that is that this bottom LCD driver board is exceptionally static sensitive. We want to make sure not to damage any of the eight LCD driver ICs on that board while we're doing this work. So the first step is to remove the old bulbs. Those are located here and here and here and here. To remove those, we'll turn them approximately 1 16th of a turn counterclockwise and lift them out. Notice that some of these bulbs have gotten very hot. The factory bulbs get hot enough that they'll melt plastic inside the cluster and they will melt um, solder on the back side of the board. The next step is that we're going to clean up the um, electrical contacts for those bulbs. We're going to use a brass bristled brush. We're just going to lightly clean those contacts. We'll clean that up and we'll make sure that we didn't leave behind any brass bristles. We're going to make sure each LED is installed in the base. We'll just press that into place. We'll put the new LED assembly into the hole. The new bases can be a tight fit, so sometimes it helps to rock one side into place first and then the other into place. Um, but the, the new bases will fit. After that, we're going to turn the base approximately 1 16th of a turn clockwise to lock it in place. We're going to do the same thing for the next three. The new LEDs don't have a positive or a negative polarity. They can be installed with either terminal in either orientation. Next we're going to remove the three indicator bulbs. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers and the reason for this is I want to be able to lift uh, with a fair amount of force on the socket. If I lift at the same time that I'm turning it counterclockwise, I won't break the plastic retaining tabs on these sockets. If I don't lift, um, the retaining tabs will be broken. So I want to be very careful with these. And we're going to use our brass bristle brush to clean those contacts. We want to make sure that these are nice and bright and clean to install the new indicator bulbs. We'll push the bulb through the hole. We'll make sure that those metal contacts on the indicator socket stay on the top side of this board and don't go through the holes. They need to make contact with these metal pads on the top side of the board. So we'll just make sure that we can see those metal tabs here and here. And we'll do that for the next two. Again, we see the tab here. We see the tab here, so we're good. And we'll do the same thing with the third bulb. We see the tab here and here. When we turn the cluster over, we'll notice that uh, a couple of these metal caps are not completely seated. This can happen if we don't have the LED completely centered. So I'll take that metal cap off. I'll center the LED in the hole. And I'll put the cap on. We're going to make sure that the circle around the LED goes inside the circle that is formed by the three tangs which hold this in place. When the LEDs are properly installed, all four caps should be flush to the top of the plastic housing. My name is Brian Thompson and I founded the website Batty.com where you can find more free information and videos to fix Corvette electronics. You can also find the parts and tools you see us using in the videos. Thanks to your support, 
I'm proud to say that 10 Americans have jobs. Hi friends, 20 years of experience can make these repairs look easier than they really are. But don't worry, we have your back. If you're not getting the results you see here, then stop and pack it up and send it to us. We have the parts, the tools, and the experience needed to do the job right.